What's good, bit rushers? It's Kyler. Today I'm going to be going over a couple of fixes that I'm having to do on my GPU, my Red Devil 5700 XT. So basically what's happening is one of the cards is overheating. It's up around 86 degrees and the rest of them are in the 70s, or the other two I should say. And what I want to do is to make sure that that graphics card isn't overheating and isn't going to melt down. And also I'm having problems with Windows and the driver on the uh, power, the power color Red Devils there. So what I need to do is just fix the overheating problem first to see if that solves the other problem of Windows restarting and getting the blue screen of death. And if not, I'll tackle that as a second problem. So here we go. I'm just going to give you an overview of the process of taking apart the 5700 XT, replacing the thermal paste, and putting it back together. And hopefully that will fix our temperature issues. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that doing this does void the warranty. However, I got this card used on eBay, and so I don't have a warranty to begin with, so I have nothing to void. But I do just want to let you guys know that, that by opening up the back, or I guess just opening up any graphics card usually voids the warranty. So just keep that in mind. Here we go. I paid. Real quick, I'm giving away a Moonlander. USB ASIC miner throughout the month of September to enter all you need to do is comment on any one of my videos throughout the month of September Also, please join me on telegram link in the description at bitrush9000 and please follow me on Twitter also at bitrush9000 link So the first thing you want to do is to find a nice place to work Hopefully you have an anti static pad like a big mouse pad type thing and bring your graphics card over there and once it's fairly cooled off you can spray it out with some um, air and just clean it out you can also clean it out after it's taken apart but I like to just give it a quick clean out so it's clean when we're getting in there you need to unscrew all of the screws on the back plate start with the screws around the actual chip there's four around the chip and do them in a diagonal pattern is preferable and you're going to do the same thing when you put it back gently pry it apart and as you do you're going to have to unplug the fan and on this graphics card there's also another set of wires that need to be unplugged as well Once you have your graphics card open, you can take some alcohol and a Q-tip or something that's not going to leave a uh, residue on there and basically just clean off the old thermal paste. If you need to, you can get like um, some kind of scraper like a credit card or something like that might work. Generally the alcohol will um, loosen it up and you'll be able to just get it right off. Once you have your chip cleaned up, you need to make sure you clean off the back side of the heat sink as well. And then you're ready to apply the new thermal paste. I went ahead and got this extra good Corsair uh, thermal paste. What it has is a very low viscosity, which means that it's thick. And what happened on the old stuff is it was low viscosity and it melted and got hot and I think it just squeezed all out and it made a really mess if you can see from the images that I had. And so I went with something a little bit thicker and it should do a better job cooling which is what we're going for. Go ahead and apply that thoroughly on the chip and spread it around with the applicator or if you don't have it you can just use your finger. You want to make sure it's covered good and a nice thick layer, but not too much so it's going to squeeze out and make a mess. Then you're going to put your uh, board back together. You're going to line it up with the heat sink and make sure the screw holes line up perfectly and they should slot right in fairly easily. Once you have that lined up and set back in, you are going to put the screws around the chip in first in a diagonal pattern and then screw the rest of them in. Make sure you're not over tightening. This will crack your board and will also make all the paste that we just applied squeeze out. I do recommend waiting a little bit 
for the paste to dry a little bit and then um, you can plug your board you can plug your GPU back in and you're good to go you can now see the temperature differences definitely made a huge difference this card is now cooler than the other two that were actually performing well to begin with. So I may actually go back and do this to all of them, get them all at optimal levels of temperature. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned um, something along the way. I will just say again, take extra caution when doing this. This does void your warranty and it's very easy to crack your card when you, if you over tighten your screws. Other than that though guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Please give it a thumbs up. Share with anyone you think may also like this content. Hit the subscribe button with the bell to be notified on future videos. And happy mining. Let's get that coin.